It's time for the 2022 Commonwealth Games, which means there will be loads of broken hearts and cheers at the same time. As every country braces itself to land with the strongest team, the Australian Diamonds are making big changes ahead of the games. Let's find out who's in and who's out of the Australian Diamonds netball team. Starting with Stacey Marinkovic takes tough decisions regarding the squad. Origin Australian Diamonds head coach must have got the toughest job in the world right now, as she announces the 18-member squad for the Commonwealth Games. Stacey Marinkovic, along with the national selectors Michelle Wilkins and Ann Sargent, are in the eye of the storm as they make tough decisions to ensure that victory is theirs. Marinkovic has announced that the selectors have been meticulously following all the players' performances throughout the Suncorp Super Netball season, and that they're happy to welcome some pretty talented women to the squad. There's no easy outcome when it comes to the Australian netball team, but selectors have to prioritize the game plan and keep in mind international success. That's precisely what the Diamonds head coach had in mind as she hinted that the squad could expand to a maximum of 22 players ahead of the 2023 Netball World Cup and the Commonwealth Games. Talk Talking to Jenny Sinclair from Netball Scoop, Stacy said that the selectors had to go through an excruciatingly detailed process where numbers are brought to the table. Talks are conducted with performance analysts, and each selector has to put an immense amount of data in context. Whew, we didn't know it was that hard to select a team. She also added that while each player in the team has an impressive portfolio, they also have to think about the team dynamics. Stacy discussed her concerns about Australia's penalty counts going up this year, and said that the international umpires might not have too much acceptance for Australia's robust playing style. Let's not forget that Australia will be the number one ranked team in the Birmingham Commonwealth Games, and they're also the standing champions of the Netball Quad Series. This means that they already have a solid team which makes the selector's job even tougher than chewing a jawbreaker. So who's in and who's out of the Australian Diamond Squad? There were a number of surprises surrounding the latest announcement for the Australian Diamond Squad for the approaching Commonwealth Games. Obviously, there'd be a whole lot of controversy surrounding the entire affair, as fans would be divided on why some players were overlooked while others made it to the squad. Every Suncor Super Netball athlete was eligible for selection, among which names like Donald Wallum produced whispers from the onlookers. The 28-year-old Super Netball rookie has replaced pregnant Romalda Elkin George as the goal shooter. Acquired from the Queensland Firebirds, Wallum has the second highest total in the top Australian league. Other youngsters who managed to hold their positions in the squad include Sunday Aryang from the West Coast Fever and the Giants Netball's Amy Parmenter and Sophie Dwyer. Since Stacey Marinkovic has recently announced that positions in the squad are still up for grabs, we can expect to hear more surprising news in the coming days. The head coach added that while they have selected the 18-member squad, they'll continue to monitor the breakthrough performances from the Suncor Super Netball season to increase that number up to 22. There were celebrations in the NSW Swifts camp as Sarah Clow, Matty Turner, and Paige Hadley were also picked up for the Commonwealth Games squad. However, things didn't work out for Swifts co-captain Matty Proud, as she was left out of the list. As always, along with Matty, a few more snubs left many players with short end of the stick. This includes Kim Ravallion, Queensland Firebird Center, and Kelsey Brown. Kelsey's name was noticeably absent from the 18 woman squad, and let's not forget that she wasn't even considered for the second-tier development list last time. Fans are especially taken aback by Revillian's snub, but head coach Stacy assures that the selection process isn't done by any means, and it was hard to pick from an already impressive roster. Up next, what lies ahead of the Australia Diamonds? Even though Australia would be entering the games as the top team in the world, there's no such thing as taking a step back for the Australians. The Diamonds will have less time for training before the Commonwealth Games compared to other nations because of the later finish of their domestic season. Do they really need all that training? Fans would beg to differ, but champions don't stay champions if they slack off, and that's why the Diamonds will train whenever possible. The selected group will stay connected and receive a limited number of heads up on their opponents. The head coach recently commented that this time is short, but they have a clear game plan set out for them. Three training partners will accompany the Diamonds and participate in match play and squad-based practice. But once the event starts, the announced 12-member squad can't be changed. This is a matter that Stacy says is up for discussion, because it would impact teams less if they were allowed to have the reserves brought in case of an injury or COVID. Apart from Donna Wallum, whose selection was one of the most shocking moments for her, the squad also contains talented names like Kiera Austin, Tara Conan, Gretel Bueda, Liz Watson, Ash Brazil, and more. It's easy to choose the best, but what happens when you have to choose the best of the best? The biggest challenge for the head coach and selectors is yet to come when they have to narrow down the team. Marinkovic says that various factors are vital in determining which players to go with, including choosing which kind of feeders or shooters the team needs. Well, good luck to them because it'll be one heck of a task. Next in other related news. Netball Australia CEO selling off hosting rights. The deal to sell Super Netball Grand Finals hosting rights by Netball Australia CEO has landed the organization in the middle of controversy. The players are unhappy with moving the game so late in the season and have found the entire scenario quite distressing. The Super Netball player have called out the organization and demanded a change of culture as they found the move very shattering. It was announced that the hosting rights would be awarded to the highest bidder and reportedly Perth will host this year's Grand Final. CEO Kelly Ryan has defended the decision as this will allow a hand 
handsome payout for the winners and the runner-ups in terms of prize money. It was reported that Western Australia has knocked out rival bids from two different states, but if the Fever misses the grand final, it will mean that two non-Western Australian teams will be forced to play the final. Putting the big question out there, how many fans would attend the event? Kelly Ryan explained that the organization is in a tough financial spot, and this decision has been made in the best interest of everyone, especially the sport. And now, Kelly Brown is overlooked yet again in the recent 2022 Commonwealth Games. Many talented players were bound to have their hearts broken over the 2022 Commonwealth Games squad announcement. While the inclusion of players like Donald Wallum was extremely appreciated, fans questioned the overlooking of players like Kelsey Brown. It was last year when Kelsey Brown started to question her place in the international landscape, and she sought feedback from the head coach to get back into the game. Fast forward, it's 2022, and she hasn't made the 18-member squad. The 12-member team is chosen from the squad, and Brown's notable absence from the roster is a big setback for her. Even though she has missed out on the diamond selection, Brown has responded in the best way she knows, through her game. Since then, the Magpies mid-quarter had led her team to two victories against top teams. Kelsey Brown's eight gains have established her as a player who can win the ball from any position. Finally, Commonwealth Game gold medalist Caitlin Bassett announces retirement. Two-time world champion Caitlin Bassett has reportedly announced her retirement from the game. Fans were heartbroken to see the netball gem take the final bow and leave a gigantic hole in the sport. Caitlin Bassett has a wonderful national and international career featuring a Commonwealth Game gold medal. The 33-year-old Australian prolific goal shooter represented her country on 102 occasions. The former Australian captain debuted back in 2008 and brought two World Cup victories home. In addition to being incredibly talented, Bassett was also able to clinch a few prestigious honors in her name. She's only the fifth diamond to score 2,863 goals and has played over 100 tests in the green and gold. Bassett was also the first shooter in 2011 to win netball's highest honor for her outstanding national and international performances. Caitlin is also known for her stealth accuracy, which she executed excellently, especially under pressure. Netball Australia CEO Kelly Ryan has recently appreciated Bassett for her outstanding contribution for the sport and acknowledged her dominance in the sport. And that's a wrap for this video. Which netball player would you like to see as a part of the final squad? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.